Hello, this is the TradeTech Forex Market Preview and International Economic Data Roadmap for the week. Beginning, we'll go with Sunday, the 24th of May 2020, ending Friday the 29th, but the reality is Monday is the Memorial Day holiday here in the U.S., so we won't have any Forex calls for Monday, going in from Sunday night going into Monday, because the banks are closed and there's no real point. So, uh, let's go through the major daily charts, then we'll look at the intraweek action from last week, then we'll talk about the economic data that's coming out. So here's the dollar index daily chart. Look, well, we had 11 candles up on the secret tool towards a 13 sell signal, but we came down and it's still, we're stuck for the last two months going nowhere. After finally, like the last year has been horribly flat, and then finally we got a little volatility in February, March, and then it's all settled back to nowhere. The same thing with the pound dollar, which, you know, if the pound dollar goes under the oh no, we got the third look if I got a projection mode, we got the 13 buy signal on the pound dollar here on Friday. Aussie dollar, not much going on. Euro yen uh, has been pretty uninteresting as well. Pound yen. None of these things are breaking out any ranges that they've been in for a long time. Pound Swiss, there's nothing here, and the New Zealand dollar pair uh, is what it is. That's not gonna be a 13. Nope, not at all. All right, in terms of intra-week action, 30-minute candles. So here's the week on the euro dollar. High to low of the week is not even 200 pips. And, uh, you know, Monday was the big move. Tuesday, Wednesday, flat. Actually, really, Monday was the big move on the euro dollar. We did make some money on the euro, though. Uh, the pound, on the other hand, high to low of the week is basically 200 pips as well. Um, again, Monday was the action. We did make a little money here, but it was not very interesting. There's just still not any great ranges or anything major going on in Forex. Obviously, stocks and futures are more exciting, and it is what it is. Uh, that's just a current situation that could change, obviously, at any point in time. Although, going into the summer, you don't expect it. In terms of economic data for the week, nothing on Sunday. German final GDP out of Europe. Bank holiday out of the UK and the US on Monday. Uh, Belgium NBV business climate. Uh, trade balance out of New Zealand, Japan's SPP, that covers all of Monday. We go into Tuesday, we've got the uh, all industries activity number out of Japan, trade balance out of Switzerland, Europe's German uh, GFK consumer climate number at 2 a.m. Eastern time, CBI realized sales out of the UK, housing price index here in the U.S. Uh, at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, consumer confidence, new home sales at 10 a.m., uh, we've got a Fed member speaking in the afternoon. We jump to some data that doesn't matter late in the evening. And then on Wednesday, there's really nothing. Uh, we've got some Fed members in various banks around the world speaking. Um, U.S. Uh, Beige Book at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Business Confidence out of New Zealand. We're already going into Thursday at this point. So it's a very light week for data. Now, there's a lot Thursday and Friday, just to be clear. Uh, preliminary CPI out of Germany, Spain. Uh, the U.S. has their current account. I'm sorry, the Canada has their current account. The U.S. has uh, the second look at GDP for the first quarter, core durable goods, uh, the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims, preliminary GDP price index, pending home sales at 10, natty gas at 10.30, crude oil inventories at 11. Got a Fed member speaking at 11 as well. 7.30 p.m. that night, we got Tokyo's core CPI and unemployment rate. That's the initial uh, number. Uh, industrial production out of Japan, retail sales, and Australia's private credit sector credit number. Friday, consumer confidence and housing starts out of Japan. German import prices, German retail sales, French consumer spending, French preliminary CPI and GDP. Uh, we've got money supply out of Europe and private loans. We've got the CPI flash estimate out of Europe, Italian preliminary CPI. None of these matter. GDP out of Canada along with their RMPI and IPPI. U.S. Core, PC, Price Index, Personal Income and Spending, Goods Trade Balance, and Wholesale Inventories at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday. Chicago PMI at 9.45. We got uh, Revised University of Michigan Sentiment at 10. Fed Chair Powell speaks at 10.30. Manufacturing PMI out of China next Saturday, which doesn't really matter. So the U.S. has very little data. It's a short week because of the Monday holiday. Is what it is. We'll see what we get as we start to head into summer in a COVID pandemic world. We'll see what it looks like. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading week in Forex.